All right, we got that pulled up there, and it's starting to look starting to look goose-like. It looks like. What we need to do now is to just glue this skin in around the edge there. Zap a gap is great stuff. But the best thing to do is to daub it on with a little tool like this. Just do a little quick run like that. And with the pointed end, the sharp, just push it into place. And once you get where you want it, just press it in. And it's just really quite easy. Let's see this bird. You might do me a favor and just kind of hold him up at that angle. Since you're here, this is kind of a luxury having a second pair of hands. See, that's too much right in there almost. Take the chance anyways. See, that's the corner of the little lip. And when I press it, I'm kind of forcing the glue back away from that edge so that we don't have a, instead of pushing it so it mm -hmm. wants to goober Ooze back out. out. Yeah. Okay, next is a little notch at the corner of the bill. You just do it one little area at a time. Is there a start on the top? You can start at any one of these little... It doesn't matter? Yeah, I don't think it matters. I have not figured out a rhyme, the reason to make it one choice over the other. Okay, we'll flip him around. It gets kind of heavy with all that caulking in there, doesn't it? Yeah. For a bird. Okay, we'll come back around this side and we'll do the little notch. Come around the corner. Now, what if you get some glue that oozes it out around that bill onto those feathers? What do you do? There is some uh, anti. What do they call it? There is some kind of like an acid antidote. Bone. No, there is a special made uh, super glue remover, but it has to be. It has to be. You can't do it hours after it or even minutes after. You got to do it right, right when away. you make the mistake. And All right, we're down to the last. Uh, the last of the unfun stuff, and then we get to the fun stuff. But uh, We've, we've injected these feet and they're now all softened up like good proper feet should be. And uh, I actually did inject off camera a couple more times just to get them plumped up and good. And even if you have a bird that isn't, that isn't uh, got a dehydration problem, it's good to keep them plumped up. So when this moment arrives, you, you've got a foot that you know you're gonna get the material in. Essentially what I do is I draw this up in the syringe and mix it right in the syringe. Take a cc and a half of A and a cc and a half of B and a couple little squirts and we're ready to roll. You always want to wear gloves and eyewear and you can see it pumping back up in there, same place where the water went. Some of that's going to leak out. This master's blend? Yeah, I like the master's blend. It seems to work pretty good. Is there other injectable stuff? There is, and, and none that I really have any uh, first-hand experience with, but a lot of people go ahead and leave that needle in there. I just pull it out and let whatever little bit's going to leak out. It kicks off fast enough that I don't see it as a huge big issue. Something you might, so it needs another little paper towel I can wipe off here pretty quick. So a master's blend, it, when you, just where you injected the water, it just goes right through those capillaries? It goes right in the same place that the water went through. 
And see, we're losing a little bit of it. Get it down inside that web. This foot's going to be closed. It's not going to be quite as critical. As long as you get that injected in there quickly and, and recharge your needle. Actually, if you need to take a break, just suck up one half of the solution in there and that'll keep it from, oh, from, solidifying. from going off. And yeah, and then when you're ready to, to work again, go ahead and suck the other one half. But if you don't, otherwise what residue is left in there is going to kick off and then you'll be having a problem again. So on upland birds, do you also inject the feed? Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing how much better it looks, especially when you get to the painting mode and you are got a foot that's fully injected. It's a lot easier to paint them. Probably one of guys, if a guy doesn't wear glasses, you want to wear safety goggles when you're using this stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, you wouldn't want this stuff in your eye. I'm just checking to see if it's penetrated the web. It hasn't all the way through there yet. Now, once this is in the foot, how long does it normally take to kick? Oh, shoot, just minutes. When is it rock hard or? No, well, there's there's a certain amount of fleshy tissue left in the foot that doesn't that doesn't kick off or that doesn't harden. And even though this stuff kicks off around it, it there, the foot has a certain amount of flexibility. So. Some of that's coming out those holes we injected the water into. It looks like a little bit. I can come up in here and make another hole. We'll try to get that. I notice when you're shoving that needle in there, putting your thumb over top of the edge of that needle. Yeah, just kind of hold pressure on it to keep it from any of it backing out there. I can feel it going up the leg though. I think we got that one all the way up, up in here. Yeah, they did get rigid. Oh already. yeah, feel feel the webbing on this. Oh yeah. It's got all in there. Anyways, clean off that excess before it hardens up all all right away. And we'll hit them with a little compressed air and I'll show you how that, that really does wonders in, in uh adjusting the feathers and getting the skin to move around. Okay, what I did here is I took a piece of driftwood, cut out a piece of soundboard, just rasped it mm -hmm. thin on the edge, put a little Elmer's glue and some gravel. It's really slick and easy, a little oak piece in the back, and uh, created a kind of a landform. A little, little island? Yeah, I raised it up, give it a little interest underneath there so it's not just sitting flat. Just makes a simple but very effective base. Once you get to this point, what you want to do is bend the heaviest wires first. And heaviest wire is which? It's your that bracing one. wire. Okay. And the, the point of it is we need to get this this basic... Why don't you hold that base for me again? I'm going to try to... Okay. What you don't want to do is start to do a lot of fine tuning and bending this neck and bending the wings and all that. Then then have to grab this thing and wrestle, it wrestle with it to get that. Get that uh, so get my pose where I want it fairly close first mm -hmm. and then start dinking with mm -hmm. it. But you want to kind of see if things are going to be lining up here for you while you start. Another thing you want to do too is before you actually fold the wing up, see these feathers that are out of place? You kind of want to or maneuver some of those into position first. Get these out from uh, underneath those other ones. And do all of this stuff before you fold the wing up. Each feather has its place and it needs to overlap the next one in the right spot. Okay, now at this point I can take some pins and temporarily kind of locate these. You get those long pins. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is just pin this right through, right through here with the radius and the ulna right between the two. But I got a nice, got a nice fluffy look to the head. And from this point on, it's a lot of, uh, 
preening and and uh, a little fine tuning. So we'll just keep after it here to make it make it look like a proper goose here.